Yeah, good morning. Uh, excellent question from Presnik and Halliday. And if you notice the diagram, what you see is a cable car system. And the weight which it can carry, the maximum weight, the passenger weight is 2,800 kgs. And the acceleration with which it is pulled up is 0.81 meter per second square. And the angle, the angle of inclination, right, it may be going from a lower level to a higher level on the hilltop is 35 degrees. If you notice this question, it's a very confusing question because of the diagram. Number one is, you know, the diagram is not clear. Uh, I think uh, a better job could have been done. But nonetheless, let me explain you the situation. So there are two cables which are involved in this. Okay, so one is called as a support cable. Okay, so support cable is where the wheels are there and the car so to say the car okay so this is your car is supported then there is another cable which is attached to the car in such a way that uh, you know it, it it has the pull force so on the top of the hill you you know there is a circular wheel this circular wheel is the one which is used to pull right so there is a pull force which comes from the circular wheel and this wheel and, and you get down here right so the pull pull which is coming to this car okay so this car this car is getting the pull from this particular pull wire so this is your support cable okay or the wire so this is a support cable and then there is a pull which is coming from this wheel at the top of the mountain so to say okay so and this is your uh, the other cable which is known as the so you can call it there, there are two cables uh, it's a pull cable right so it's a pull cable now if you notice uh, there are multiple uh, so there is a mechanism the mechanism is that the car is attached to this pull cable which pulls it up so if you notice the car right and if you see a normal question and i will just simplify the explanation of this question it is very similar to this right so you have this weight the weight has a component downward right mg sin theta and there is a tension or a pull force upwards very similar situation and if you notice the t is this so t minus mg sin theta is equal to m a right where the coordinate axis I have chosen is this. Okay, So that's my y, this is my x, right? So you can choose a coordinate axis. What makes this question very hard is, you know, it's very confusing up from the diagram point of view. How is the car getting pulled up? Nothing, you know, there is a, some mechanism here, some machinery which connects and, and this car, you know, gets a force which is upward using that mechanism so if you notice this car is going to have some weight in this direction which is the weight of the passengers mg sine theta and this is where the pull is coming the tension right the only difference is if you notice the question is what is the difference between the tension in the various sections of the pull cable so if you notice the pull cable you know you have this section and this section right so what they're saying is the tension here is different from tension here and obviously uh, you know if you have uh, if i show you a parallel diagram you know that because let's say this is an inclined plane you have mass number one and then you have a uh, mass number two and then you have a mass number three and there is a pull force which is coming the tension here and the tension here might be different and this is what they're trying to convey i think the language is very cryptic and very you know not so clear it's very hazy to read anyway so let's say that tension in this particular section is t1 i will just use a separate color so that you can see it very clearly maybe darker one and there is a tension here right so let this be t2 if you have to draw a free body diagram of this right how do you write this so tension t1 is coming from this circular wheel right this is a circular wheel which is pulling uh, 
everything upwards. So let me write the, and I'm choosing this as my coordinate axis, right? So this is my coordinate axis. And so the, the weight of the cable is this, and it contains what, 2,800 kgs is maximum it can afford. So if I were to write this, this is 2,800 into G sine theta, right? So 9.8 into sine of 35 degrees. So this is your weight component of the car downward the pull force is coming from the pull cable upward so let the tension be t so t uh, one i have already written and then of course there is a so this section this section is having some tension t1 and then there is another section which is this right so the this cable has this as one of the cable on the left hand side and on the upper side that this is another one right so and it clearly stay you know calls out that the tension is different so if you notice this uh, cable you know which i've drawn here it also has a it also has the tension being applied on it you know coming from the the other section so if this is your car and this is a tension which is coming from one side and this is another tension which is coming from other side so it's it's in the reverse right so pull it downwards along the new coordinate axis so if you notice the car cable very carefully it is also subjected to one more tension which is t2 in the adjacent section and then it is subjected to a t1 upward which is coming maybe from the wheel okay and if you write down the equation now uh, using this free body diagram it's t1 which is upward and minus the tension on the left hand side coming from the this section minus its own weight which is mg sine theta and the net acceleration it is moving in is m into 0.81 okay now you don't need to find the exact tensions what you need to find is just the difference so t1 minus t2 is equal to m into 0.81 plus m into g into sine of 35 degrees you can go to a table sine table and see this so this is m is 2800 multiply by 0.81 plus 20, 2800 into 9.8 into sine of 35 right that's a difference you will get now, if you notice the, the, the diagram was scary, uh, the situation was not very clear, but if you read it very carefully multiple times, you will get a hang of how to solve a problem like this. So whenever you see a practical question, you know, which is not, not like a, you know, in blocks on the inclined plane, the intent of these questions remain the same. It's just that the block questions on the inclined plane get you know changed in in a way that they don't look like block questions but look like practical situations of life right so even i had to read this question many times before i was able to draw a conclusion and the approach so based on newton's law just write the net external force the hint was that it, this has a net external force in it and then of course uh, clearly states out that the adjacent sections of the pull cable have different tensions and of course the mechanism of a car cable system, you know, one cable supporting the second side is connected to the big wheel. The big wheel provides a upward pull force. So all that is engineering. Of course, you would not know. That is what makes this question a bit tricky and uh, you know, not so clear. You know, I've been